I'm delighted to have the opportunity to speak in favour of this motion and I'd like to commend the ULA for putting it forward. The decision to sell off the harvesting rights of culture, if it goes ahead, could well go down as one of the most short-sighted decisions made by this most short-sighted of governments. The decision to sell state assets is a knee-jerk reaction made by the government at the behest of the Troika to pursue an agenda of privatisation and liberalisation that the government is happy to go along with. How can the sell-off of our forestry rights in the long term assist the development and recovery of our state? It simply cannot. It is only about the opening of, resources, of the resources of our citizens to private capital. There are four main reasons why I believe that culture should not be sold off. Culture supplies 80% of the timber to our sawmills in the state, and if the sale goes ahead, there is no evidence that this supply chain would be maintained. There is evidence from other countries, like New Zealand, that the opposite would be the case, where the raw wood would be, would be exported and, and the work lost to domestic mills. There are currently around 1,800 people working in the sawmill industry, generating wages of around 90 million euros annually, with up, with up to 3,000 3, other jobs that could be put under threat by the sale of cultures right, harvesting rights. Our forestry could also support the development of a wood biomass industry that, if nurtured, could be used to strategically change the direction of home heating in this country. We import over 1 billion euros annually of home heating, uh, he heating oil, yet we produce over five times the wood necessary to heat the entire country. This would be a carbon neutral policy, and it is ironic that on the day that the government publishes the heads of its cl climate change bill, this important source of carbon neutral he heat could be sold off. Culture has control of 7% of the land mass of the state, and much of this land is in areas that would be suitable for wind energy development. If the harvesting rights are sold, access to this resource will be lost, and the opportunity to meet their climate change responsibilities could be greatly reduced. Realigning culture and the ESB, along with board gas, with a view to maximising renewable resources, could be of huge value to our society. It could potentially generate huge revenue to the state in terms of dividends from these semi-state companies that would do more for debt reduction than any short-term gain from the sell-off of the companies. Should culture be sold, there will be a need to maintain the public forests that now provide an amenity in society. And the proposals for the sale do not contain any provision for the amenity value of our forests. Maintaining them into the future will have to be funded through state resources, rather than from culture revenues that is the case at the moment. What will be the future be for open access to forests if the sale goes ahead? Are we, really, are we to really believe that the investment funds will take on a public interest role and all that involves in allowing access, public access to our forests? Certainly not without a premium for, from the state, that's for sure. A proposal to sell off the harvesting rights of culture is a crazy solution to part of our debt problems. It is not based on any realistic examination of the value that culture can play in our co economy and society. Impact has published a report by Peter Bacon that estimates the net present cost of the sale at over 1.3 billion euros. This is way above any of the estimates that I have seen that the sale could realise. I believe that the sale would cost a lot more than that. The loss of opportunity for the Irish people to benefit from our own resources would have a far greater cost. One minute, sir. You should be going back to the Troika, showing them how we can maximise the development of our own semi-state companies. A plan that shows how the timber product sector, biomass and renewable energy potential of culture and the other semi-state companies can play a huge role in our economic recovery and in the remodelling of our economy would be hard for them to turn down. Rather than meekly accepting the dictates of the Troika, put a, put a plan together that will benefit the Irish people. If our so-called partners are really interesting, interested in seeing a robust economy in Ireland that can grow and develop for the future benefit of its citizens, they would be happy to work with such a plan. 